Dear classmates, welcome back to the logic simulation. In this video, we are going to introduce the last logic simulation technique, the parallel simulation technique. The idea of parallel simulation is very simple. We try to pack W patterns into a single word where W is equal to the CPU word size. In this way, we can simultaneously evaluate a gate with W patterns. This idea exploits the inherent parallelism of bitwise logic operation. In this following circuit example, where W is equal to 4, we pack 4 patterns into a single word. For primary input A, in the first pattern it is 1, in the second and the third pattern it is 0, in the fourth pattern it is 1. If we perform a bitwise operation, we can simultaneously obtain the result of a gate output. For gate G1, we can perform a bitwise OR operation and the output of this OR gate is 1110. And we perform a bitwise AND operation. So the gate output of G2 is 1000. In this way, we can obtain the output of the circuit which is 0110. Please note that in this parallel simulation we consider only binary logic. That means we ignore a noise or high impedance. So this is a simple quiz for you. What is the speed up of parallel simulation. Suppose that the CPU word size is W. Is it a W or W square or no speed up? The answer is simple. We can have linear speed up W over traditional simulation. In practice, we need to consider more than binary logic. So how about ternary logic? A simple idea is to use two bits to represent a node. For example, we can use 1 1 for logic 1, 0 0 for logic 0, and uh, we add 1 0 for a node. Leak's idea works fine with N gate or gate. But it has some problem with inverter. For example, we can use two bits to represent one pattern. So the first pattern is one, and the second pattern is unknown. After bitwise operation, the output of OR gate G1 is one and the U. This is the correct answer. After the inversion, we will get 0, 0 and 0, 1, which is undefined in our encoding system. If we perform a 0, 1 with 1, 0, we will get 0, 0, which is a wrong answer. From this example, we can see that we cannot use both 0, 1 and 1, 0 as a known. It does not work very well. A very simple solution is to improve our encoding method. In this improved encoding method, we use two words to represent one signal. For signal A, we have A1 and A0. When A1 equals 1, it means a logic 1. When A0 equals 1, it means a logic 0. When both A1 and A0 are 0, it means a node. For the same circuit example, now we have two words 
for primary input C, we have C1 and the C0. 0, 1 represent a logic 0. 1, 0 represent a logic 1. And the 0, 0 represent a norm. So, how do we use this encoding to evaluate a gate? In this table, we show how do we evaluate a gate using the improved encoding. For example, for this end gate, we have A and B as gate input. C is the gate output. We can use a bitwise operation to obtain the output. C0 is equal to A1 bitwise and B1. And the C0 is equal to A0 bitwise or B0. The reason is that output is 1 only when both a is 1 and the B is 1. On the other hand, output C is 0 when either A is 0 or B is 0. In the same way, we can write the equation for the OR gate. C1 is equal to A1 plus B1. And C0 is A0 and B0. We can see the dual relationship between the end gate and the OR gate. When we have an inverter whose input is A, output is C, we can simply exchange A0 and A1 to produce C1 and C0. So we have a short quiz for you. Please write the equation that can evaluate an exclusive OR gate in parallel. Have you got it? Yes. For exclusive OR gate, we have two scenario where C1 can be 1. That is A is 1, B is 0, or A is 0 and B is 1. For C to be 0, we can have A1, B1, or A0, B0. This is our answer. So how can we evaluate this circuit in parallel? We can apply the equation that we have in the previous slide to generate the output for each gate. And uh, for this inverter, we can just swap those signals. So the correct output is now 0, 0, unknown, and 1. In conclusion, what is the complexity of logic simulation? Suppose that there are P patterns and the G gates. The compiled code or parallel simulation complexity is theta p times g. For event-driven simulation, it's theta p times e, where e is the number of events for each pattern. If we assume that the number of events is O g, then again we can have O p times g complexity. So this is a good news because logic simulation is a polynomial time complexity. So logic simulation is quite a simple task in EDA area. 
In summary, we have introduced parallel simulation in this video. It exploits the bitwise parallel operation to gain linear speed up. If we want to improve the encoding for a node, we can use two words to represent one signal. Finally, we show that logic simulation needs polynomial time complexity. Actually, both the compiled code simulator and the event-driven simulator can be implemented in parallel version. For example, for this circuit, if we want to run compiled code simulation, we can simply change this instructions into bitwise logic operation. This can be easily made a parallel version. Alternatively, if we want to use event-driven zero-delay simulation, we can simply change the evaluation into parallel bitwise logic operation. When we compare the output, we need to compare every bit in the word. In this way, we can make our compile code or event-driven simulation into a parallel simulator. Finally, we have two questions for you to think about. First question, we mentioned that unknown bits are difficult to handle when we have inverter. For example, suppose 1, 0 represent a unknown. After inversion, we have 0, 1. Can we simply swap these two bits so that it becomes a known again? Can we do it? We can also do the same thing here for k. Is this a good idea? Question 2. If question 1 answer is yes, what are the advantage and the disadvantage compared with the encoding method that we introduced previously in the lecture. Please think about these two questions. Thank you for watching.